Let's talk about the mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation measures the average distance of all the values from the mean. Now let's talk about how to calculate it. Let's say we have the numbers 7, 11, 14, 19, 22, and 29. In this first example, let's use a table to calculate the mean absolute deviation. So in the first column, I'm going to put all of the x values. And then I'm going to put the mean, which we need to calculate soon. And then we're going to take the difference of each data point with the mean. And then after that, we're going to take the absolute difference of each data point with the mean. So the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate the arithmetic mean of these six numbers. So it's going to be the sum of all the x values divided by n. So it's 7 plus 11 plus 14 plus 19 plus 22 plus 29. And we're going to divide this by n, where n is 6. And we could put these numbers here too. So we have 7, 11, 14, 19. I'm going to have to make this longer. And then 22, 29. Seven plus 11 plus 14 plus 19 plus 22 plus 29. That gives us a sum of 102. And 102 divided by six gives us the arithmetic mean, which is 17. Now, once we have the mean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract each data point from the mean. So seven minus 17 is negative 10. 11 minus 17 is negative 6. 14 minus 17 is negative 3. 19 minus 17 is 2. And then this is 5. And then 12. Now, in the last column, we're going to take the absolute value of this column. So all the negative numbers will become positive. And then we're going to take the sum of this column. So 10 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 12 is 38. Now, to calculate the mean absolute deviation, it's going to be the sum of the absolute value of the difference between each data point and the mean. And then we're going to divide that by n. So this value we already have, which is 38. And n is 6, so it's going to be 38 divided by 6. Now we could do this mentally. 38 over 6 is 36 over 6 plus 2 over 6. 36 plus 2 is 38. 36 over 6 is 6. six 2 over 6 reduces to a third. So one third is 0 0.3 repeatant, so this is 6.3 repeatant. So that is the mean absolute value deviation for this particular problem. And this is the formula that you need in order to get the answer. Now, let's work on another example that illustrates how we could use this formula without the use of the data table. So let's say we have the numbers 5, 9, 12, 16, and 18. Feel free to pause the video if you want to and go ahead and calculate the mean absolute deviation for this set of numbers. So using the formula, we're going to take the sum of the absolute difference between each data point and the mean and divide it by n. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the mean. So let's take the sum of the five numbers and we're gonna divide it by five. 
5 plus 9 plus 12 plus 16 plus 18, that's equal to 60. And 60 divided by 5 is 12. So 12 is the arithmetic mean in this problem. Now, using this formula, we are going to take the absolute difference of each number with the mean. So the absolute value of 5 minus 12, and then 9 minus 12, and then we have 12 minus 12, 16 minus 12, and then 18 minus 12. And let's divide this by n. In this case, n is 5. So 5 minus 12 is negative 7, and the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. 12 minus 12 is 0. 16 minus 12 is 4. And 18 minus 12 is 6. And then we're going to divide this by 5. Now, 7 plus 3 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this is the mean absolute deviation for this set of numbers. Now, let's understand this visually. So what this number means is that on average, all of the values have an average distance of four units away from the mean, 12. So let's draw a number line. And I'm going to put the mean in the middle. We know the mean is 12. We have a number at 9 and another one at 5. We have a number at 16 and at 18. So this point, which is directly on the mean, it has a difference of 0 between itself and the mean. This number is 3 units away from the mean, and this one is 7 units away from the mean. 16 is 4 units away from the average of 12, and 18 is 6 units away. So each of these numbers, they represent absolute deviations from the mean. And what we've done is we've taken the average of these five numbers to get the mean absolute deviation. Because we summed up 7 plus 3, which is 10, 4 plus 6, which is 10. So that gives us a sum of 20 divided by the five deviations that we have here. And so we get a mean absolute deviation or an average absolute deviation of 4. So on average, each number is about four units away from the mean, on average.